Adjacent to the city of Christchurch in New Zealand is a prominent group of jagged peaks which stand out in the overall landscape. These peaks, which are referred to as the Banks Peninsula, are a geologic oddity of sorts. They represent a chain of several relatively recent volcanoes which run far away from the North Island where all of the modern volcanic activity in New Zealand occurs. Additionally, these peaks just jet out over the landscape far away from any other regional topography, much in a similar manner to the Sutter Buttes in California. As a whole, the Banks Peninsula is 48 kilometers long and consists of two highly eroded shield volcanoes and a group of smaller associated volcanic cones. These two shield volcanoes are called Littleton and Akaroa, and what used to be their summit calderas are now large bays. So, how did this volcanic complex form? Over tens of millions of years, the crust and underlying lithosphere have been slowly lengthened as the Zealandia plate moved away from Australia. This caused the existing lithosphere to become unusually thin from which large weak points developed. On occasion, large segments of the underlying lithosphere would attach and sink towards the athenosphere. When this occurred, large volumes of magma would rush upwards to fill the previously empty space, leading to the creation of a chain of volcanoes. This process has occurred several times throughout the recent geologic history of the South Island, with another recent example being the formation of the 10 to 16 million year old Dunedin volcano. In the case of the Banks Peninsula, a similar process occurred, but when magma intruded into the crust, it was funneled along a northwest trending fault. This led to the creation of a lengthy fissure-like system of volcanic complexes, the first of which began forming 12.4 million years ago. The first batch of magma to reach the surface occurred underneath what is now the town of Littleton when there was only a shallow ocean and no land in the vicinity. As basaltic composition magma erupted onto the ocean floor via a fissure, it began constructing a broad submarine volcanic cone. Over time, this shield volcano with its gentle slopes climbed above sea level. Over the next several hundred thousand years, this volcano expanded in size to 25 kilometers wide. In its center was a large caldera formed via large volume flank eruptions which occasionally contained a lava lake. This volcano eventually became extinct but was followed by the eruption of four other distinct and overlapping volcanic cones. During this continued activity, a secondary more explosive type of eruptions formed large lava domes. These lava domes had a composition of rhyolite and were deposited through highly explosive eruptions which emplaced layers of ash called tuff in the vicinity. As continued explosive activity occurred, small batches of obsidian were occasionally emplaced. As volcanic activity slowly moved in the southeastern direction, a new group of vents appeared and resulted in the creation of the Mount Herbert Volcanic Group. This area produced eruptions from 9.7 to 8 million years ago. During the later stages of this volcanic group's formation, a second shield volcano began erupting to the southeast. This shield volcano, known as Akaroa, quickly grew in size to more than 20 kilometers wide. It erupted a combination of both basalt and trachyte lava, resulting in effusive and explosive eruptions during a period of 9 to 8 million years ago. Then, volcanic activity subsequently resumed on the far western end of the peninsula. Between 8.1 and 5.8 million years ago, intermittent eruptions through cinder cones and isolated fissure vents occurred in the highly eroded interior of the Littleton volcano. Once these volcanoes became extinct, erosion began cutting away at the summits of the present volcanoes. The vast majority of volcanoes were reduced in height by between 50% and 66% as several peaks used to tower to more than 1500 meters above sea level. This period of long-term erosion eventually cut away at the caldera wall at both primary shield volcanoes forming a peninsula and opening them up to the Pacific Ocean. In the many millions of years following this, the southern Alps of New Zealand also largely eroded away, which transferred sediment towards the east. This sediment was added to the so-called Canterbury Plains, which connected the peninsula to the South Island of New Zealand. Today, this scenic landscape can be visited via State Highway 75, which takes you to the interior of Akaroa. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank my new patron Marty Noring for supporting this channel.